director of this 45 year old woman called Sara. Uh, she is a younger sister. My older sister is a 55 year old uh, person called Sureka, played by Suhaila Kapoor. And this 45 year old Sara is, um, what should I say, she is she's bubbly, she is just all over the place, she is chaotic. She loves romantic songs. She's freaked out on Rajesh Khanna. She loves Rajesh Khanna. She uh, wears, you know, green face masks and purple hairbands and is constantly dancing in her head to all kinds of romantic songs and is writing all these desi music booms and, and she's just like waiting for her Prince Charming to come out of this horizon and just ride into her life and just carry her over into this magic land of happily ever after, you know, and she's, she's like just going through her life with a lot of fun and, uh, and she's also very smart so she kind of senses relationship dynamics and um, she gets into this the row with the, what should I say, loggerheads with this 35 year old corporate woman and wants to show her down and will become extremely manipulative to you know bring her down and to expose her or to catch her in handed in doing something which is not acceptable and yet under all this bubbly exterior and all of that lies the pain of a young teenager girl who has been raped in her childhood and who has never had the courage to talk about this with anybody and she has been hiding for the last 25 years from herself, from her sister, from the world and constantly just been trying to heal and nurture herself as to you know to be able to come out of the pain of that traumatic experience that she underwent when she was a teenager and that's what happens during this play the, the 35 year old woman who's come in as a paying guest somehow creates a bridge between her and her sister creates a lot of space for healing and nurturing that takes place so uh, primarily Sarah is a character which is like fun she's bringing in a lot of joy and happiness to people around her and yet at the same time is also constantly looking and focusing at herself on how she can heal herself and move beyond the traumatic experience and not make it a reference point of how she's living her life or feel sorry for herself or just stay within that.